My name is Matt. I'm a cook and a slicer here at Franklin Barbecue. My name is Zachary, and I'm the cutter at Franklin Barbecue. My name is Aaron. I work here at Franklin Barbecue. All right, fellas. Well, thank you so much for having me. This is such a treat. If you don't mind, just tell us who you are and uh, how you're feeling in your body today, and if you have any experience with yoga, and if you don't, that's awesome, too. This is the first time I've ever done yoga. I've uh, kind of uh, intrigued to see how, uh, how I do. Yeah, <laughs> this is so feels. awesome. What a great story. You could say my first yoga <laughs> was with this exactly. fellow Texan named Adrian in. In Franklin. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> cool. I have a little bit of experience with yoga. I actually have done 30 days of yoga uh, several years ago. but. Yay. But since I had a back injury, I don't really do a whole lot as much as I should now. So. Yeah. The closest thing to yoga I've done is I, I took a nap once on the floor. That's about as far as I've that's gone. Super advanced. Stacy made me do it. Yeah, that's advanced. Well, for busy people like you guys too, that is actually quite advanced. So. Well, cool. Matt, Aaron, and Zach, thank you so much for your willingness to do a little yoga on this lovely Monday morning, we're gonna begin right here, seated with uh, just a couple deep breaths. Then we'll move through a little flow that's gonna help you just stretch the entire body and so a little stretch, a little soothe, and then we'll wrap it up uh, with some more breath work. So let's start in a nice, comfortable seat. And um, now that we're friends, let's just take the hands to the glutes, to the booty, and just kind of <laughs> move your glutes to the side so you can kind of feel your sits bones root down okay. and it's like I kind of just love the idea of letting go of the yoga poses and just kind of like you know okay in yoga I like touch my butt ground my you know root chakra to the earth and sit up nice and tall so don't worry about the pose just focus on the sensations and then as you're ready let's take the hands to the knees and just sit up nice and tall here and again, there's a tendency, of course, even me, to kind of want to hit my pose and, and master even this shape. But instead, close your eyes and see if you can just lift through the front of your body, whatever that means to you. And then lengthen through the back of your body, whatever that means it feels like today. And then just a little image of lifting through the sides of your body. And it kind of lifts up through the armpit chest when you do that. Yeah. And then most people are naturally collapsed in their chest. Here you guys are s super open, nice awareness in the shoulders and the chest. So we're just going to accentuate that by taking a deep breath in together. Here we go. And then we're gonna use the exhale to relax the shoulders down. So again, we take a big inhale in. And then actively as you exhale, just relax the shoulders down away from the ears. And then one more time, just like that. Big inhale, lift through all four sides of the torso. Exhale, elbows get a little heavy and we drop shoulders down. And then just pause here and continue to gently deepen your breath. And nothing fancy here, but this will be the hardest thing I think we do is breathe <laughs> conscious, full breaths. And the more we do this on the mat, we more, the more we kind of notice, oh man, off the mat at work, in the car, like I'm not breathing full, I'm not breathing deep. And oh, what a game changer that can be. Bridging the gap between the mind and the body. Great, then take one more cycle of breath here, fellas. Let it be the deepest breath you've taken all morning, all day. Awesome, then we'll bring the hands to the heart. We call this Anjali Mudra, just a little prayer position to kick off our week. We're gonna, since it's morning time, in the evening we might go a little softer, right? Like, oh, I made it through the day, <laughs> thank God. But for the morning, we're gonna activate a little energy here by pressing the elbows left to right and then just again accentuating that lift and if, if the lower back is starting to speak to you here you're not alone you know we're not necessarily sitting in this position as often as maybe we once were as a people you know yes so as humanity so one more breath here press 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 elbows left to right let your neck get really long by tucking the chin just slightly yes awesome 
Then we'll release. We're going to take the left hand to the right knee. And then we're just going to take the right fingertips all the way up. I know this is like yoga for the brain. And then feel this big stretch as you reach up, up, up. I'll mirror you here. We're going to reach, reach, reach. And then exhale, just bend that right elbow. We're going to take the right fingertips behind us for our first twist. And there might be a tendency here to kind of lean back. You guys are doing a great job of keeping the chest lifted. And then just take your nose and your gaze and turn to look past your right shoulder. And you don't have to push it or force it. And then we're going to use that same breath that we did before, super simple but challenging to remember, to inhale deeply here and then use the exhale to relax your shoulders down away from your ears. And then inhale. And then see if you can literally drop your shoulders down in space as you breathe out. Yeah, there we go. And then one more time, we'll use the breath. Exhale to drop the shoulders down in space a little more. Yes, and then moving on the axis of the spine, we simply come back to center and switch to the other side. So here we go. Uh, right hand's gonna come to the left knee. Inhale, big stretch. And then exhale, twist. I'm gonna mirror you, we'll come to the opposite side. And then just kind of imagine your spine here. So we want to create space between each vertebra as we breathe in. And then we can use the exhale to relax the shoulders down in space as we breathe out. Yeah, and then each time that's, that's the dance. Inhale to lift and lengthen. And exhale to drop the shoulders, relax them down and twist. Maybe we take the gaze past our left shoulder here doing great so good for the spine here so good for the internal organs as you breathe deep we're massaging those internal organs mm. sweet then we'll take one more breath here inhale lift your sternum your chest and then exhale slowly come back to center awesome a little monday morning energy will bring the hands together just create a little warmth a little friction so your thinking mind's going to want to take over in this little ditty and it just is every time but our thinking minds, especially as hardworking folks and uh, as an entrepreneur, a business owner, like your mind never turns off. You can always be improving on something, I feel like. So try, and we won't master this today or maybe ever, <sighs> but <laughs> let's try to give our thinking minds, our like mind intelligence, a break and let your body intelligence, whatever that means to you, like kind of have a head seat at the table. So when we're in twists, instead of thinking about what we're doing, you know, we do at first, but then we at least take one cycle of breath where we just, Notice, oh, my lower back feels so good here. Or, oh, okay, I can uh, relax my shoulders down a little more. Kind of letting the body intelligence have that head seat at the table. Okay, so let's come forward onto all fours, nice and slow. So we're gonna inhale, drop the belly. This is appropriate for where we are today. We go for the cow pose. And we're gonna pause here and just really let your belly drop down to the ground. So we spend a lot of time in our culture, our society kind of sucking in, tightening our belts and drawing the belly in. Here we get to let it all hang out. So tail goes up towards the sky. We drop the belly. And then the thing is, we're gonna bring a little more awareness to it, which you guys are already killing it at, pressing away from the earth as you do this. So you have a little opposition of dropping the belly down, creating that U shape with your spine, and then kind of pressing away from the earth rather than collapsing your bones. Yeah, but you guys are already killing with that. Most people clap, start with a collapse. So really nice work. So here we go, take a deep breath in, look forward. Smile, because we're doing yoga <laughs> together in the middle of the restaurant. Life is good. And then exhale, claw through the fingertips. We're going to flip the script, and we're going to go in the opposite direction. And this is a moment where you can start to really feel the sensation in the back body. So you're going to round through now and create like a cat shape, like that black Halloween cat, like the cartoon. And then the trick here is go ahead and bring your gaze to your belly just to tell the neck, oh, yeah, relax. And then same thing, press into the tops of the feet, press into your hands and breathe here. You can just use the sound of my voice to guide you. I got your back. Breathe, breathe, breathe. See if you can hug your lower ribs up towards the sky and we're stretching through the skin of the back a lot here. All right, and that's our structure. Here we go. We're gonna inhale, drop the belly. We can move nice and slow. Open the chest, look forward, feel the skin of the belly stretch like a long puppy belly here. And then exhale, press in your foundation, cat pose. Draw the chin to the chest, navel draws up towards the spine. And we keep moving. Inhale, drop the belly. And then exhale, round through. And the more we practice this, the more kind of flexibility we can gain in the spine. 
And you can just keep going now with your breath. And the thing is, you're gonna stop breathing at some point, so you'll just notice that and then come back to the breath. So create an N shape as you breathe out. And then a U shape with the spine as you breathe in. Hmm. And this is a good little check-in. It's like some days you're gonna be you know, stiff, some days you're gonna find a little more mobility, feel more malleable. All right, you're doing great, perfect. We're gonna do one more wherever you are, one more back and forth. And then after that cycle, we'll just come back to tabletop position. Wrists underneath the shoulders, knee direct, knees directly underneath the hips, and we're gonna curl the toes under. And I said I was gonna go easy on you, and I am, but for a healthy back, we wanna check in with our core, but not in a mean way here. <laughs> so we're just gonna do a nice, easy, gentle, hovering table. So you curl the toes under, press away from your yoga mat, keep your gaze straight down. Imagine placing uh, a little teacup, or we're here, so a little, like, you know, cold, ice cold beer on the back of the neck, and you don't want it to spill, so you wanna keep your neck nice and long. So take a second to find that first. So gaze straight down. Again, we place our beverage of choice on the back of the neck, so it's not gonna fall here. And then trust me, trust yourself. Here we go, inhale, press away from your yoga mat. You're just gonna lift the knees and let them hover. And as you do this, draw your navel in, and we're gonna start to shake a little, it's totally normal. Think about tugging your hands back energetically. Oh, you guys are strong as hell. Okay, here we go. Tug your hands back energetically. Tugs your, tug your toes forward. Sorry, I got excited. And we're here for three. Breathe deep. Two. And then we slowly lower on the one. Nice work. Awesome. So from here, we're going to send the hips back towards the feet just for a little stretch because we're on our feet a lot. So if this is too intense, just stay here breathing. If you need a little more, see what happens if you walk your hands up towards your thighs. Okay, bring the hands together, create a little energy. And then we're gonna take it forward and into that downward facing dog. Here we go. So, toes stay curled under. We'll lift one knee at a time and you're gonna send your tail up towards the sky. And this is one of those moments as you come into our first downward dog here to get together. Maybe your first downward dog ever. Yep. Yeah. Yes? All right, where well, you gotta give your thinking mind a break and listen to your body. What does it need? Maybe bend the knees. Maybe take your gaze to your belly again to just soften through the head and neck. So relax your neck. Yeah, awesome. Hands look great, guys. Strong shoulders, beautiful rotation out. Really nice intuition there with the shoulders. And then just take a couple breaths here. We won't be here long to pedal out through the feet. And you're going to stretch through the fascia of the foot, stretch through the ankles. Yeah, peek at me whenever you need to here. And we start to open up through the backs of the legs which of course translates to the lower back. So Aaron, give your um, knees a little bend and then pedal out your feet just a little bit um, back and forth. Yeah, even if it's just a hair. Yeah, 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 awesome. And then Matt's leading the way here. We really should let the, the sounds and the breath just kind of come out here as our body needs it. Oh, it makes it so much better. It also tells your brain, oh, I'm cool here, I got this. And then Parts of my legs are stretching that I haven't stretched in a yes, long time. Yes, and muscles are smiling that maybe you haven't smiled in a decade. Yeah. Okay, cool. So from here, we're just going to do a little rag dog. Rag dog? No, rag doll. Although maybe I should change it. Rag dog. Uh, step up to the top. So just nice and easy in your own time. You're going to step one foot and then the other. <sighs> just bringing as much grace as allows. You don't have to worry about that too much. Bend the knees. Uh, just be in the moment here. You're going to take opposite hand to opposite elbow and feel nice length in the lower back as you do that. And then remember to let the head and neck go as you're ready. You're going to stay here and breathe for three cycles of breath. Awesome. Really nice. So maybe shake the head a little yes and a little no just to let go through the neck. Yeah. And then stay here, fellas, or if it feels good, you can softly, very softly, swing the elbows a little side to side. Try to bring your attention to your feet to just firmly plant them so that you can stay nice and grounded in the lower body as you move the upper body. We do this a lot in yoga, kind of marrying the, the, the stability and then the kind of movement, the ease. So we have those two things going at all times, the strength, but also the chill, the, the grace. All right. We'll come back to center. Whenever you're ready, release the arms. Okay, here we go. We're gonna bend the knees. Nice and steady and slow. We're going to roll all the way up to standing. 
So we roll up nice and slow, feel it out. And now you're in mountain pose. And in mountain pose, yeah, take anything you need here. We'll step to the top of the mat actually. And in mountain pose, it's really great because it's so simple, but, but the work comes from the inside. So on the surface, we're standing up nice and tall, head over heart, heart over pelvis. And let's take the hands to the heart center here and find those elbows out again, just a little bit of energy. And then use the inhale to stand up nice and tall and then use the exhale to relax the shoulders down. And then this is it, boom, nailed the pose. So where the real magic happens is on the inside. So you're gonna just close your eyes for a moment. Again, trust me, trust yourself, uh, trust this experience, this practice. And you're gonna just bring your mind's eye to the base of the spine, whatever that means to you, like right at, there at the pelvic floor. And then we're gonna visualize just maybe drawing a line from the pelvic floor, from the base of the spine all the way up through the pelvis. And as I guide you through this little visualization, keep your breath going, big inhales, and then exhale to relax the shoulders down. So now we're traveling up through the pelvis. Now we'll travel past the navel. And as we do that, just draw the navel in just a hair. So we don't need to like clench or tighten in the belly, but just a little bit. Yeah, yeah, really nice. And this starts to change your energy. We're starting to change the quality of energy in the room here, the magic of yoga. And then keep traveling all the way up through that third chakra. So it's not just all six pack abs, right? In yoga, we kind of go in, oh, checking in with the energy, the energetic body. Yes, so hug the lower ribs in and then let's keep going all the way up through our hearts. Aw, lifting our hearts. No explanation needed there. And then all the way up through the neck, remembering as we continue our practice that the neck is an extension of the spine and all the way up to that third eye, which we're gonna bring the thumbs right up to the third eye here, going full on today. Bring your thumbs right up to the third eye, you're gonna give yourself a little massage. This is also, in yoga, we think of this point, right? Your third eye as like this, the teacher, the inner teacher, your intuition. So like learning to listen to yourself, trust your guts, your intuition. All right, and then the crown, drawing that line all the way up to the crown, we're gonna take the fingertips all the way up, lengthen through the crown of the head. And then we're gonna interlace the fingertips, find the steeple grip, take a deep breath in, and then keep this awareness that we've built all up through the spine. We're gonna keep heavy in the heels and just nice slow tilt, nothing fancy, over to the right. So I'll let you decide based on what's going on. Like I feel like Bugs Bunny here, like bells and whistles start to go off as you start to stretch the side body. So you can stay pretty steady here, or if you want a little more, if you feel comfortable, you can experiment with bumping the hips to the left a little more, reaching to the right. Now bring the breath, we come out of the sideways. Yes, one more breath here, inhale. And then exhale, come to center. Arms might be getting tired here, but we're letting, we're gonna keep them up. We're gonna let the circulation flow opposite direction. So inhale and again, lengthen. And now over to the opposite side, taking fingertips to the left, pausing, finding your breath. And then yeah, if it feels good, great, nice. Bumping the hips maybe a little more to the right, only if it feels good in your body. And you can feel how the breath really enhances the stretch. And that exhale, drawing the shoulders down. One more breath, inhale. Exhale, dig into the heels to come back to center. Yes, here we go. Break free the chains, inhale. Exhale, ah. Interlace the fingertips. We're gonna open up through the chest now. Think about bringing your shoulder blades together here so we kind of all live here because we do literally everything here, you know? So let's activate shoulder blades by bringing them together and then draw the knuckles down, just as best as you can. And if you can do this every day this week and just notice how it changes from this Monday to next Monday, I'd be curious to know. Okay, one breath here, inhale, look up. Exhale, here's a big move, so breathe deep, bend the knees. We're gonna draw a big line, a big rainbow with our knuckles all the way up towards the ceiling first. Oh, yeah. Breathe this deep, unnatural. guys. <laughs> and then slowly, you don't have to do it, but think about bringing your belly to the tops of the thighs and then let your knuckles come all the way towards me. Of course, if you ever feel anything that doesn't feel good, let's back off and feel free to uh, mention it. Okay, breathing here, letting the blood flow to the head, getting the head below the heart here, so good. Gonna bring us some good energy for the rest of our day. 
Dig into your heels. Make sure you're not clenching in your toes. Breathe, breathe, breathe into the hamstrings for one more cycle of breath. Do an awesome. Yeah, and then resist the slingshot effect here, guys. So bend your knees, release your fingertips. Oh, and then with control, just let them go to the ground. Stay in your forward fold here. Yeah. Awesome work. Okay, bend the knees, fingertips come to the mat. Keep your right foot where it is and nice and slow, we're gonna step the left foot back to a nice low lunge. Yes, guys, look at this. And you said you weren't flexible. So I love that we're doing yoga here today. Front knees over front ankle, we're reaching the left heel back. Because you guys said you weren't flexible, but yoga is actually not for the flexible, right? It's for everybody. And I also think this is great because people think that you know, oh, you have to be vegetarian to do yoga, and we're, here we are proving them wrong. Oh, we're so, all vegetarians. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Oh, man, did I just b b blow the cover? Okay. So last bit here as you breathe deep is we're going to try, just try our best to come a little bit off the fingertips. So your fingertips are kind of turning the color of, like, a strawberry milk, which is always gross to me for some reason. But here we go. Let's lighten up on the fingertips and inhale. Open the chest. Let your heart radiate forward for just one breath. Catch a wave here, as I like to say, if this fly lands on my head. And then, yeah, nice. And then exhale, come all the way down. So nice. Plant the palms, step it back. We're not going to do a lot of these, so don't panic, but we're going to come and do a plank pose just once again to support our nice, strong back body by connecting to the core. So think about creating one straight line in this like top of a push-up position. So Erin, you can actually bring your hands flat, like pancake style, like two starfish. And then press away from your yoga mat, just like we did in that hovering table. Yeah. And then rock front and rock back, just to create a nice straight line. Yeah, boom, there, there you go. So right there when you rock front, that's it. Yeah. And then we're here for three, two, welcoming that shake, drawing the navel up. And then hallelujah, downward dog never looks so good. On the one, send your hips up and back. Okay, nice cleansing breath. Like you love yourself, in and out. Awesome, awesome. Okay, from here we're going to step the left foot all the way up, nice and slow. Front knee comes over the front ankle, and when we're coming from that downward dog tr transition, I would always say never be afraid to kind of use your hand to help you get up there. And then we want to stack the bones always, so bring that front knee over the front ankle. And then the rule about stacking the bones is kind of just a no-brainer. It's like, do we want to be you know, kind of putting undue pressure on the joint, or can we actually use the bone to stack and give it some stability? So we're here for a couple breaths, same thing as before, opening up through the legs. And then we're going to get light on the fingertips here. Here we go, big inhale, press into the power of your front foot. It can be a big lift or just a small lift. You guys are killing it today. Inhale, let your heart open, and then exhale, release. Awesome. From here, we're going to step it back to that plank pose and just check in one more time. Think about your head and your pelvis and your heels all being in one straight line, like one big stick. I usually say hey yo in class when I say one big stick, but I was trying not to say it here and then it, uh, it just came out anyway. Okay, so here we go. Inhale, shift forward. Hug your elbows in. Belly flops are welcome here, but we're going to try to resist them. But if they come, that's all good. We're trying to resist the belly flop, but if it comes, it's always welcome. Keeping it real as we lower all the way to the ground. Oh, yeah. Then press into the tops of the feet so you'll flip the toes. And then check it out. Follow my lead. We're going to tuck the chin into the chest here. And then press into the pelvis. And then inhale, slowly look forward, uncurling through the neck. Bhujangasana, baby cobra, strengthening the back here as you squeeze the elbows in. So find your breath, and you should be able to feel your breath in your belly here. Yes, awesome. Slowly release, awesome work, guys. Curl the toes under, press up to plank, press up, power up. Super strong, and then that downward dog. Great work. Take a cleansing breath, inhale in, exhale out. Ah, so ragdoll to the center of your mat, step, step, in your own time, super humbling these transitions in yoga, I love it, it's a great metaphor for life. Once again, we're going to slowly roll up, take your time, and then there's a moment here where you can kind of just go, okay, I did that, or like also just feel the blood rush, like 
Notice what it feels like to be alive today. Yes, nice work, guys. Okay, so just for fun, we're gonna, um, you're like, yeah, so fun. We're gonna bring the feet together and we're gonna bring the hands to the heart and we're gonna slowly come into a modified tree. You can also lift the leg up if you want, but we'll start just nice and low, just baby, baby steps. So we're gonna shift our way to the left foot and then you're gonna slowly <clears throat> peel your right heel up and then you're just gonna turn out through that hip. Boom. You guys, I'm not just saying this, but all of your bodies are, are really taking to yoga. So hips don't open like that for everyone that easy. And you guys just were like, whoop. So, okay, shift your weight to your left foot. Keep that nice, strong standing leg, uh, awareness in the standing leg. And then we're just gonna slowly maybe slide that uh, ankle up, that heel up just a bit. But you can also keep the big toe on the ground for a little stability. And then in time, you can maybe bring it up. Yeah, awesome, Matt. Or, you know, in time, you can even grab that foot and bring it all the way up to that inner thigh. Now, the thing that I want to share with you today is as you do this, think about that opposition that I just put a little taste out earlier on. You're going to squeeze the left leg into the right. So the tendency is to kind of press into that standing leg. Find that opposition, that meeting in the middle. Doing great, yeah, look at us. Okay, so we're gonna take one more breath here, find that opposition, lift the chest. Hmm, awesome, look at you guys. And then release, so inspiring. Okay, shake it off if you need to. We'll do the same thing on the other side. So you know where you're headed, take your time, shifting to the right foot. And then make sure that right foot is strong before you start to head into your posture. <coughs> And then a little um, trick, a little guidance is to hold on to one focal point, either out on the ground in front or maybe straight ahead. In time, we can take the gaze up or as Matt's already doing, he was closing his eyes earlier, which is like the ultimate <laughs> advanced thing to do. <laughs> it's super hard. So really nice. So let's fill this room with the sound of our breath here in Virksasana tree pose. My balance isn't as good as it used to it's be. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. Okay, take one more breath and then use the exhale to let it go. That was awesome. High five. Yes. High five. Okay. All right. So inhale, reach for the sky. Just clap the palms up and overhead. Jai Namaste. And then take it all the way down and we're going to come to a seat to wrap this puppy up. Yeah, yeah, geez. Actually, less pops and So good, and every day is different, and that's why, like, I'm a big cheerleader for the home yoga practice. I love studio and <coughs> event. I do a lot of live events, but the at-home yoga practice is something that I think everyone can really benefit from because a little goes a long way. Like, you don't have to do the full sweaty, you know, 90-minute or an hour thing. You can just do five minutes, ten minutes. You can do it alone. You can do it with a partner. You know, okay. So here we go, we're gonna bring the hands back to the heart, elbows wide, and ending with a little breath. So we're gonna inhale for two, and then exhale for two. Ready? Inhale, one, two. Exhale, relax the shoulders, one, two. Inhale, one, two. Pause here, exhale, one, Two. Try to sync up with this count. Inhale, one, two. Exhale, one, two. Inhale, lift up through the spine. Two, hold. Relax the shoulders. Exhale, one, two. Keep it going. Inhale, one, two. Exhale, one, two. Last one, we're gonna hold in the middle. Inhale, one, two, pause. Retain the breath. And relaxing the shoulders. Exhale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just take a second to notice how you feel. You can close the eyes here. We're wrapping up. So just take a moment here before we hop off the mat. 
just be really present in this experience, whatever it feels like, whatever it means to you today. We're going to finish by bringing those thumbs right up to the third eye again, just to like, you know, snuggle up, get hot for inner teacher, and take a deep breath in. And then on the exhale, we're just going to bow all the way down, last big lower back stretch. And we kind of bow to the light in ourselves and recognize that in each other, because we are all in this together. And we finish by saying namaste. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this lesson, then I think you'll love this video right here.